you run a system where only the children of the rich get well educated. We are shooting ourselves in the feet. Because the educated and this elite are maybe about 5% of the population. Which means 95% of the children are there. Mm -hmm. And among these 95%, probably there are the 50% of our geniuses. Yes, and brilliant that, we have, people. that we have neglected. We have completely neglected them. Mm -hmm. Among the 5% children of the rich people, more than half of them will be useless anyway. Mm -hmm. Because they have not lived, they have not learned to be trained. Yes. At the end of the day, the whole society has lost. Yes. But if we made effort to expose the children of the poor to a minimum of education, among them were people who will transform society trans and solve the problems that we are all yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. The problems which they have seen yes. and the problems which the children of the present rich people are not seeing. People have lost trust, lost confidence, lost even hope that you will ever get a, a government that will serve the people. We are told what politics is. We've reached a stage now where the word politics is a dirty word. It means it's almost like arm robbery. Exploitation of the people. Yes. And so if you want to escape poverty, f find your way into the corridors of power and then you can use it for your own good. Whereas what Jesus would have said is there is poverty in the land, there is suffering in the land. Let's do something about, about the poverty. Yes. Not escape it. And leave the majority Le of the people in poverty. You are a politician. You see how bad the schools are run and the universities are not operating. You send your children overseas. You extract your children from this rot. And leave the schools the way they are. That's that is not what leadership is. Therefore, is. the whole idea that leadership is service is not only a, a pious Christian aspiration. We must admit that even from reality, it is not only that it works, it is the only system that works unfailingly. Yes, leadership as service. When you don't have leadership as service, you end up with leadership as exploitation. When you have leadership as exploitation, probably it works on the short run for some people who manage to grab more than their fair share of the national resources. But at the end of the day, they are not even succeeded. I would, I would just look around at those who, are, who claim to be doing well, those who are living in beautiful houses, who have two or three jet, uh, jets, and they can't sleep well, and they have to be constantly checking their blood pressure. If the majority of Nigerian politicians decide that we are going to, uh, we are going to use power to tackle the problems of our people, mm -hmm. And if you want to know the problems of your people, go to the poorest. They are the ones. Mm -hmm. but, but don't, sit, don't sit in the House of Reps and in the Senate discussing about billions and trillions that are moving from one section to the other. What surprises me and sometimes pains me is that the rich people of this generation, my generation and yours, we all came from, from the poverty. bottom line. Yes. We emerged from the bottom. Yes. Why do we not allow others to, to emerge from, also the from the bottom? Because the system allowed us to emerge. Yes. And now we create a system that allows no one else to emerge. Yes. It is a story of having reached the top, we pull up the ladder. the ladder so that nobody else will climb. And they think God sanctions that. that. So that when eventually you are beginning to have all kinds of problems, you, be, you, blame, you begin to blame all kinds of, of evil spirits and, uh, and uh, wicked aunties and witches. But don't, they, they forget that God still punishes, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. When you find the, ch the children are problematic, you send them to the best schools and they come out useless. Yes. You see, we used to have, even in the pre-Christian society mm -hmm. in Nigeria, we used to have a situation where, um, and up to recently, we still saw it with people like Aminu Kano and, and, and so on, where the house of the politician was an open house where two, three, four, five hundred poor people ate every day. Now, the house of the chief was an open house. But we now have a situation where the rich among us are fenced off with barbed wires, 
and ferocious dogs so the and, poor cannot and foreign, approach and foreign guards and maybe foreign guards <laughs> and then so the poor cannot approach so even the primitive feudalism the feudalism of uh, yesteryears was better in the sense that it was more benevolent when the poor can go to the houses of the of the of the rich and the chiefs and eat now today the kind of feudalism we are running it, it, it's terrible not, let us not think that this is only Nigeria suffering this. It is a disease that has hit the whole world. We only need to listen to Pope Francis and how he speaks about the culture of uh, the what he calls, you know, the, what you describe now as people facing them in. Yes. This, uh, the globalization of indifference. Globalization of indifference. Pope Francis speaks of the globalization of indifference. indifference. We are living in a world now where nobody cares about anybody else. It is, it is showing itself both in individual terms, like mm -hmm. the ones you have described, yes. described and, and in terms of national. national yes. The globalization of, of indifference. indifference. And Pope Francis says that is a grave uh, error. error of a, an error. It's yes. not only that it's bad. It's an error. It's bad for us. Yes. And the world cannot survive mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is why we're saying that at the end of the day, it is enlightened self-interest it is in our enlightened self-interest self to support to others do that mm -hmm. to do that because for as long as we are preaching to people to please think about the poor and they begin to think that whatever little crumbs mm -hmm. they, that falls from their table that they are they doing give wonderful to the poor, work they've done wonderfully well we will continue in that direction but they must be told that until the poor can sit at the table with you you can't have peace and you will still eat enough, and he will still eat enough. There will be no peace. There will be no peace.